Well, thank you so much for staying with us. Donuts in the house, of course. You're back with Afternoon Express right here on SABC3. Now, you may know him as the 2004 Olympic gold medalist who had us all screaming at the top of our lungs. But today, Rek Nietlung is one of South Africa's most successful property moguls. He's also the marketing director for Valdevi Estate, one of South Africa's most luxurious estates. And he's here today to chat to us about the prestigious Pink Polo event, which raises funds and awareness for those affected by breast cancer. Rick Nietlern, how are you? Good afternoon, Leanne. I need a moment. Okay, cool. No. I'm back. Are you well? It's so good to have you in the loft today. It's really good to be here again. Now, you know what? The Pink Polo is probably one of the highlights on not only the Western Cape calendar as well, but on the events cal calendar. It's such an incredible event, but it's one that carries so much heart as well. For anybody who, for, for some reason, has never heard of it before, do you want to tell us more about what the Pink Polo actually is about? Yes, I think um, it really goes down to the core and heart of, um, you know, of what Valdivy is all about. Yeah. Uh, we. We really care about the community, and uh, it's quite a relaxed day. Uh, it's the first event of the summer. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the beginning of the polo season as well, you know, for us. So, uh, so everybody's very excited. Um, but it really is for a good cause. Yeah. Uh, we like to treat the ladies, you know, from the valley that have struggled with uh, you know, with cancer. Uh, so it's a you know, it's a nice day for them. It's a vocal yeah. platform to talk about breast cancer. And and uh, you know and everybody that it affects, and then this year we're going to raise some money as well. So uh, you know, so um, I think the event's grown a lot. This is the ninth year, and uh, you know from the you know from the early days to where it is today, I'm very proud to be associated with it. That's amazing. But you know what, Rick? There are many events that are just as luxurious, that are just as high, and that are just as amazing and exciting and fun to attend. What was the catalyst that made you decide to attach it to such an important cause, such as breast cancer and cancer awareness? Yeah, I think I think we all know people that have been affected by it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I myself, my sister was diagnosed with cancer when when she was 12 years old. Sure. So so. Um, you know, you know, we just know that it can affect uh, everybody and we wanted to do something. I think polo is also associated sometimes as very elitist and yeah. that's really not our heart, you know. Uh, we wanted to, to make it very accessible um, and uh, we wanted to combine everything just to make it a great day out. And uh, like I said, this is the ninth year and it's, it's an event that's grown in South Africa, but also been picked up and we've attended events and uh, hosted events all over the world. Wow. And uh, so Pink Polo has become uh, a thing around the world. Uh, we'd like to think that we were one of the first ones to, you know, to start it. There are some big campaigns now internationally as well, yeah. uh, you know, combining breast cancer awareness mm -hmm. and polo. So, yeah. so uh, I think we, yeah, you know, I think we started the trend. That's powerful. I mean, I've, I've been fortunate enough to attend on a few occasions and it really is such a wonderful day. And to see all of those survivors that come out and you can kind of see that there they are in the flesh and it really is supporting them is wonderful. How can people get involved with the Pink Polar this year? Where can they get tickets and how can they make sure that they are a part of the day? Yes, um, so we still have a lot of tickets available. Uh, there's from VIP all the way just to picnic tickets. Uh, they can go on to the website pinkpolo.co.za or onto Compu tickets and they can buy and we are donating, um, we're donating 100 Rand for every ticket sold wow. um, on, the, on the picnic area to Choc. Yeah. Uh, obviously it's also very close to our hearts. Hopefully we can raise as much money as possible. It's gonna be a lovely day out in the Cape Winelands. Yes. Uh, so please come. Don't be afraid of you know, what you're gonna wear. It's very, you're relaxed. You can get you know, really dressed up, but you yeah. can also just come like I am here today. Exactly. And come and enjoy it, and yeah. uh, it's going to be a lovely day. How does it make you feel to see this day from its inception to now just grow from strength to strength to strength? Um, yeah, it's amazing to see it. Uh, you know, from day at the first one, we sat on hay bales, and now it's become wow. this big event. And I must just credit the you know, the Valdiv events team, uh, you know, for their passion and vision mm -hmm. and hard work. It takes a lot of hard work. Obviously, the sponsors on board, yeah. people like yourself who hosted it as well, Aww. you were all part to build it. And uh, yeah, like I said, we started a, you know, almost a movement that's been exported internationally. And yeah. um, I'm sure on the 3rd of 
you know, of November, it's just going to yeah. be, uh, we're going to take it to the next level. Absolutely. Well, the 3rd of November, it's the place to be, Val de V Estate. It is absolutely wonderful. Pinkpolo.co.za. I have to tell you, it was at this event that I merely brushed shoulders with Trevor Noah for the first time, but that's as close as I got, sadly. <laughs>